Okay, this is all about how to solve a uh, quadratic equation by by completing the square. So, let's say we've got a question like this. Solve the following by completing the square. Have a go if you know how. Okay, so the key thing, the real key stage is to realize that you must halve the coefficient of the x. So, half of 8, that's your starting point. So, kick off with x plus 4 all squared. Now that's obviously x plus 4 times x plus 4. Do all the multiplying out, gather your terms, and you get x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now that's sort of two-thirds of the way there. You've got the x squared right, you've got the 8x correct, but we've got 16. We don't want 16, we want plus 3. So what adjustment do we have to do? We have to take away 13. So if we take away 13 from both sides, we get x plus 4 all squared minus 13 equals x squared plus 8x plus 3. So this is an alternative way of writing x squared plus 8x plus 3. Now we've been asked to solve this being equal to 0. So rather than solving that be 0, let's solve what the alternative format is being 0. So solve x plus 4 all squared minus 13 equals 0. And this is quite a straightforward rearrangement. Okay, Add 13 to both sides, square root. That's where the plus and minus comes into play. The square root of 13 is plus or minus root 13 and then take away 4 from both sides. So our solution is x equals minus 4 plus or minus root 13. So really break it down to three steps. First of all, the multiplying out the brackets. Secondly, the adjustment. And then thirdly, the solving the revised alternative format. Here's the second question for you to have a go at. And here's the answer. Here's a third question. And here's the third answer.